My name's Tom. And I'm Jim. Welcome to Manana Cafe. A podcast designed for those interested in finding new and exciting places to eat in the Albuquerque, New Mexico area. Together, we've visited plenty of interesting restaurants and hope to introduce you to many others by listening to Manana Cafe. Hey, Jim, we don't have far to travel today, do we? You're right, Tom. A gem of a restaurant in our own backyard. And the name of the place is... Indigo Crow Cafe, serving great food in a cozy indoor surrounding with large shaded patio. Located on Corrales Road, otherwise known as New Mexico 448, two miles north of Alameda Boulevard, otherwise known as New Mexico 528. And for those familiar with the area, Indigo Crow is just south of Casa Vieja and across the street from Hannah and Nate's. Open at 11.30 a.m. until 3 p.m. and again at 5 p.m. until 9, five days a week, Tuesday through Saturday. Indigo Crow is closed on Mondays. Their new Sunday hours are brunch from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and dinner from 5 p.m. until 9. You know, Jim, the village of Corrales has a rich history and the Indigo Crow is part of it. According to the Historical Society and local newspaper articles, the site of the Indigo Crow was once a grocery store and a gas station built in the 1920s. Over the decades, it's been a family home, an art gallery, and a trading post. In the 1980s, it took the form of a restaurant, originally called El Comedor and later the Desert Rose. On or about 2001, my sources tell me that Don and Regina Rabber founded the Indigo Crow. It's a beautiful place from front to back. Have a cocktail or eat your meal at the bar. Warm yourself near the Kiva fireplace, especially on a cool night. There's indoor and outdoor seating. A large tree covered patio. The kitchen and staff can handle your orders, which include for lunch, green chili cheeseburgers with bacon, cheddar cheese, and guacamole on a lightly toasted brioche bun. Fish and chips with hush puppies and tartar sauce. Eggs Benny, baguette, ham, poached eggs, hollandaise sauce, potatoes, and fresh fruit. Just to name a few items. Go to their website to view the dinner menu. You and Jasmine went there for uh, Sunday brunch, I believe. What did the two of you have? We had the Catalina salad first. I've been eating this since we first moved to Corrales in 2002. The presentation is interesting. The salad arrives having been molded into a square. Chopped romaine, tomato, egg, avocado, bacon, melted gorgonzola, dressing, croutons, and Parmesan cheese. And we had the crab cakes covered with ginger aioli and samba aioli. The Catalina salad and crab cakes are some of our favorites. Don't forget the dessert, Jim. You ought to drop by, Tom. You know, you're right, Jim. If I stop by for lunch, I'll have a green chili cheeseburger made with Angus beef and a healthy order of fries. However, 
when Gretchen and I visit for dinner, we're having the iceberg wedge and the ahi tuna salad. That's seared rare with heirloom tomatoes, onions, candied almonds, wonton chips, sesame seed ginger dressing, and a shot of wasabi just for me. You are gonna think we're gonna come back, Tom? Oh, I'm absolutely positive, Jim. Never doubted it for a moment. Indigo Crow. Nestled beneath the towering trees. Wowing patrons for two decades. Have a snack. Have a drink. Enjoy a meal. Good food. Great atmosphere. What's up next, Tom? You know, Jim, you and I are going to be very busy this month. So I guess we better take a couple of weeks off. <laughs> so come join us when Manana Cafe returns for our next podcast on Wednesday, May 24th. And keep an eye out for Snoopy. Snoopy? You'll be seeing Snoopy regularly on the Manana Cafe Facebook page starting this week. Until then. Adios, amigos. Goodbye for now. On behalf of Tom and myself, thanks for listening. And we hope you'll join us again at the Manana Cafe. Adios, amigos.